Hi everyone, it's Papa Hector here. And in today's video, I want to cover why it's so important to know your spiritual core and how this can really help you and transform your life. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, make sure to click a thumbs up and hit like down below. So what is the spiritual court before we get involved in this? In all of the traditions, no matter which tradition from the Caribbean that you take part in, everyone is known to have what's basically a spiritual court. It goes under many various names. Every tradition has its own way to work with it and deal with it. But basically your spiritual court are the spirits that you're born with or have acquired throughout your lifetime or lifetimes and that work with you and influence your life. Whether or not you're in connection with your spirits or out of connection with your spirits, your spirits influence affect and affect your life. So when you're in connection with your spirits, you know what's going on as well as have a level of power to be able to deal with what's going on. When you're out of connection with the spirits, basically everything comes like it's coming out of nowhere and you'll find yourself in repeated cycles and problems that just never seem to cease and never seem to let up. So there's a difference between being in and out of connection with your spirits. So everyone's spiritual core is different. Every, just like every human is different, everyone's spiritual makeup is different. And so everyone has different spirits that walk with them. And it's the spirits that walk with you that are the energies and are the forces and influences which affect you and your life and those in your environment most strongly. When you know who your spiritual core is, you can go ahead and connect to those spirits and you can start to learn from them spirits as well as learn about those spirits and start to be able to develop true power and controlling your life but also the ability to know what's coming up and what's going on in your life. You'll also be able to discover who you really are, what are the true patterns in your life, where your gifts and challenges lay, and what else you need to do, and how to resolve problems for you in your life in the easiest possible fashion. The power of knowing your spirits is so immense that it's one of the greatest gifts that you can really get for yourself. And it's one of the best investments one can ever make in themselves. Because serving the right spirits makes the difference between success and total failure. It makes the difference between achieving progress and results with your spiritual work and staying stuck in a cycle of never making any real true progress. And if you don't know who your core is, you don't know what spirits are, or you're serving the wrong spirits, things will not be working out for you at the maximum possible capacity, is the best way for me to put it. So that is the raw power that's involved in knowing who your spiritual core is. If you don't know what path you're meant to follow, and if you don't know who your spiritual core is, right, you're going to end up confused and spinning without really having anything to give you a foundation and anchor you down so that you actually are able to progressively build and build yourself towards success with the spiritual work. So, if you don't know who your spiritual core is, but you're interested and you want to know who your spiritual core is, go ahead. I can give you a reading. You can get a reading by many priests and priestesses that can uh, determine who the spirits that are important for you and in your core and what you have to do with them. That's the most important step. You many In many traditions, this is done via a reading. In some traditions, certain levels of initiation may have to undergo in order to know certain parts of your court. But a certain kind of base foundation of knowledge of who your court is can be found out through a reading. So if you don't know who your court is, I'm going to put a link below. Feel free to order a reading or um, find someone who can give you a reading that you trust 
that's going to be able to properly guide you in the right direction. And it's not just about telling you who the spirits are, but then also about how to move forward. What's the next step after that? So if you really want to change your life and you really want to make a big difference, and let's say you're limited on funds, let's say you're not able to do everything you would like to do because of finances, knowing your spiritual core can be one of these things that transforms that. That's number one. But number two is a good first step, some place for you to start off is to find out who is in your spiritual court, who's influencing your life and how to work with those forces to move forward. So that's all for today. I hope you're doing really well. God bless you. Uh, happy New Year 2018. Oh, one last point I wanted to make because this is actually how this point came up, was we're in January right now, 2018. Great month. December just passed. Another great month. Two very big spiritual months. There's tons of spirits that get celebrated in the months of December and January. And there are so many spirits that get celebrated that it's easy to start running around like a chicken without a head because you could start trying to serve all the spirits. Almost no one serves all the spirits in the sense of an individual service to each, every spirit. People serve the spirits that walk with them in their court. And you'll waste a whole bunch of time, effort, energy, and money serving spirits that don't walk with you, that aren't going to respond to you that won't take the offering from you. So a way to skip through a lot, a huge waste of time, effort, energy, and money that I see people doing all the time is to focus on your court. Find out who that is and focus on that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, click like, click subscribe. I'll see you again. Keep the faith. It's Papa Hector.